Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the first video of my Zodiac series, starting with Aries, which is the ram, hence the horns. Um, Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac, but it's also my sun sign, so I'm super excited to do this look. Um, my goal is to keep the look itself actually wearable, not super editorial, just something that you can actually wear out. And then add little elements like the horns, obviously. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this series. Instead of doing back-to-back -back Zodiac videos, I'll just be posting them when the season rolls around. So once Taurus season begins, I'll do a Taurus look and on and on and on. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my social media. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, I've already primed with my P. Louise base. And I'm gonna go into my James Charles palette, which I'm gonna make it a goal to not use this palette alone for every look, but it is kind of like the only palette you could ever need. So I'm gonna pick up an M332 in the shade 518 and start putting this in the crease. Since Aries is cardinal fire, I really want this to be the most fiery look that I do of the fire signs. Because I mean, we are the most fiery. Taking an M204 and the shade, you're kidding. I think I'm just gonna pack this on the lid. Taking an M209 in the shade Rusted, I'm just going to kind of blend these two colors together. take my elf smudge brush in that you're kidding shade and put it close on the lash line And then that M209 and that rusted shade, and we're just going to kind of blend it out. I'm going to have to like clean up my under eye for this, but it's fine. The thing I feel like that makes red hard to do on the lower lash line is like not looking sick, which right now I kind of look a little sick, but it's fine. I'm gonna fix it, it's gonna look great. I'm just picking up more of that Your Kidding shade on that M204 and just making sure that it's bold on the lid. I'm gonna 
take up like a small brush in this literally shade and pop it on the inner corner. my next black eyeliner and put it on the top waterline and the bottom and take my Stila stay all day liquid eyeliner in black and do like a sharp like killer wing you probably won't see this part because of how i get I want to go back in with a little bit of that 518 and just make sure it's like popping because I feel like a lot of the times with blending you can like lose how like bold it is and I want it to look like a straight up flame. I'm going to go off camera and apply some lashes. I'm going to use the Kiss Lash Couture and the Stop Razier. I'm gonna pop these on and then zoom you out and we will finish our face. Boom. I love these lashes. I forget how much I love these lashes. Okay, I'm gonna apply some mascara to the top and bottom. I'm living for this eye look, like living. I feel like a bad bitch. This next blush in the shade Cinnamon. It's like an orangey red blush. In 105. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna use a little bit more than I normally would. Because I just wanna look blushed and fiery. I love this blush when I'm tan. I'm not really tan right now. And I'm even gonna like pop a little on my nose. And I swear my favorite way to apply blush is to like put a lot on and then take a clean duo fiber and like soften it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I want to pop on like a really pretty golden highlight. So I'm picking up my Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Golden Flower Crown. It's very well loved. It's like my favorite of all their highlighters. I'm going to take this on an M310 and highlight. My face is hella broke out right now. Don't mind it. It'll get better, it always does. 
when I'm not filming. I like really want to be extra freaking blushed and highlighted. Then using my flower hydrating setting spray, I'm gonna mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna line my lips using my NYX Hot Red Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna use my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Outlaw. It's one of my like all time favorite reds. Red lips used to make me so nervous. Like I remember when it was like a big deal to wear a red lip. Like you had to do it so perfect. And so right and it's like, it's not that bad. All right guys, this is the finished look. I love it. I look, I feel pretty badass. Like, yeah. These I got off Amazon. I'll try to link them down below. I'm also going to be leaving just some basic info on each sign as I do it in the bottom bar, so be sure to check that out. I also will link all the products I use and all my social media down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited for this series. I'm hella excited. I'm so excited. The next one's Taurus, so keep your eye out for that when Taurus season rolls around. I hope everyone has an, a badass Aries season, and let me know down below what your sign is and what you're excited to see. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.